the best kayak trips are as much about what you do outside the kayak as what you see on the water. You can find this cave alongside the Chipola River in Jackson County. You know, I've had a few adventures in and around this river over the years. But somehow I've never paddled on the Chipola River Paddling Trail. That changes today. Chipola River covers about 92 miles. The trail itself is about 51 miles from the caverns, basically it goes down to uh, Scott's Ferry in Calhoun County, just above the Dead Lakes area. So that's the paddling trail. So you can do this trail over several days if you want, or just do different day stretches like most people do. Multi-day kayak camping trips are fun, but we want to do a day trip. So today, we picked a section with a few highlights. So we paddled a 10 mile segment from Yancey Bridge to Magnolia Bridge. It's uh, Yancey Bridge is just below the uh, Florida Cavern State Park. the place called The Ovens, which is on the Henson Track, managed by the city of Mariana. And this is a small cave that is probably the, about the only cave you can access dry cave from a Florida river, so it's pretty unique. It's beautiful with big limestone boulders and a lot of moss, just right on the river. So it's a little bit difficult to land here, but it's, it's, a, it's a neat stop. It kind of looks like ovens, you know, the brick ovens. Floridians get excited anytime we see rocks above ground. Most of our best geology is under the water. This is Mond Spring, M-A-U-N-D, and it's, it's about halfway between the Yancey Bridge and Magnolia Bridge, about five miles either way. It's a beautiful spring, has a kind of a long fissure, maybe uh, 15, 20 feet deep, probably deeper if you go into the cave, yeah. I wanted to mention one thing about the springs. We stopped at one spring, but this river has 63 springs that feed it. So that's the largest number of springs that feed any Northwest Florida river. So it is unique that way. and looked at Spring Creek, which is another clear spring-fed creek that comes into the river. It's very popular with the tubers, so a lot of local folks and FSU students come here in the warm months and they tube down, they take out a couple miles down river on the right, there's an outfitter there that uh, rents tubes. We've enjoyed a day of impressive geology and natural solitude out on the water, but just over a year after Hurricane Michael, it's hard not to notice the damage done to the surrounding forest. Paddling the river, it's pretty obvious. You'll see that the floodplain forest has been decimated by about 60 to 70% in most places. So it's been thinned out quite a bit. But I've noticed that some of the trees that made it, especially some of the cypress and the live oaks, seem to be doing really well. So they're gonna end up being some very dominant trees. The state spent a lot of money and effort to clean up this section of the river and uh, did a great job. So the river's open and you'll see places where they had to cut the logs and everything. It's a very safe passage through the river right now. When I'm on this river, I, it's still pretty remote. There's a few houses, but basically today we didn't see any other boats. And so you can get on this river sometimes, especially during the week, and not really see anybody. And that's what I, one reason I like about it. I like the springs. I like the feeling of being in wild Florida. So come and check it out. You can find a link to the Chipola River Paddling Trail Guide on the WFSU Ecology blog. For WFSU, I'm Rob Diaz de Villegas. If you enjoyed today's adventure, we have plenty more on the Chipola River and many more videos on kayaking and canoeing in North Florida. It's all on the WFSU Ecology blog. And please subscribe to the blog and the WFSU Ecology YouTube channel to keep up with our exploration of natural North Florida.